It's time for Hey guys, we're back. So I'm Brendan and I'm Lester. And today we're going to teach you another game. So we're going to play Shithead. So, or Palace is the other name for it, if you don't want to say the other name. So the objective of the game is basically same as Big 2, you want to get rid of all of your cards. The setup though is a little bit different. So, so we're going to play with uh, three face down cards, and we're going to start with six cards in our hands. And we're going to play three cards face up on top of the three face downs and end up with three cards in our hand. And basically, the remaining cards will be just put into a pile that sits in the middle of the table. Uh, so, the lowest card is a three, the highest card is an ace, so the suits don't matter in this case. Uh, and so the technique is, ideally, when you're setting up your cards over here, you want to try and put high cards or special cards on top. So, we'll explain the special cards in one moment. Uh, actually, if you want to explain that right now, you can. Okay. So these three are the special cards of the game, the 7, 2, and 10. When you play a 7, the person right after you has to play a card lower than a 7. And when you play a 2, um, the next person can, be, can play anything. And when you play a 10, that clears the pile in the middle and you get to play again. Uh, 2 a 10 can be played at any time. Well, seven has to be played in numerical order. Okay, so there's different kinds of hands that you can play in the game. So either you can just play a single card, like these ones, or you can play doubles or triples. If you play four of a kind, then this is considered a clear. And you don't need to be necessarily the person that plays all four cards too. If you have four cards in a row that are the same number, then that also counts as a clear. And then you get to go again. Uh, so if you have less than three cards in your hand, you're also going to pick up cards from the middle pile until you have three cards in your hand. If you're unable to play at any time, then you have to basically pick up the middle pile. Yeah. Yeah, you pick up the pile and the next person goes. <laughs> so good at this. Okay, so once you get rid of all the cards that are in your hand, you're left with the six cards remaining on the table. So you can play from your face-up cards. For example, there's two tens here, so you can actually play both of these tens at the same time if you want to. Uh, so, yeah, you just play the top cards like you normally would. Once you get rid of the top cards, then you'll be left with three face-down cards. And these three face-down cards are played one at a time, and you flip them on your turn. So if it's your turn, then ideally you just flip a card, if it's good, then the next person goes. If it's not, then that means that you have to pick up the pile, including this card. And then once you get rid of all the cards, then you win the game. Yeah. Okay, so you guys ready? You have all your cards set up? Yeah. Okay, so whoever has the lowest card, you go first. Anyone have a three? Who has a three? No. I have a four. No! <laughs> okay, so it's going to be going counterclockwise since you jumped on it. Yeah. Okay. All picking up cards, good. Nice, four in a row, so that clears as well. So yeah, sevens don't match. They have to Dang learn it. something. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> and the vice president is again. <laughs>